Here's my uh, review of the Red Wing 1159 non-cowboy boot. It's 11 inch, no frills, no tassel, no stitching, but kind of cowboyish. Perfect for walking your mud around the block. Great for going to Walmart to pick up cheap whiskey. Or anything else where uh, a younger dude with better looking legs would wear a tennis shoe. My days of tennis shoes and Merrells are kind of over because I've messed up my legs so bad riding bicycles and motorcycles and crashing and getting surgeries that they're all purpley and veiny and full of scars. And not exactly what I'm going to be showing off at 54 years old. This is my new civilized country boy look without the Gene Autry flair. Uh, I think I've had them a couple weeks, so they're starting to break in. They're the type of Red Wings that don't have a removable sole, insole, sorry. So it takes a while for your, oh, look at this big bastard. It takes a while for your uh, the insole to start looking like Birkenstocks and get all the dimples and divots. One pissing off. Oh boy, this isn't gonna be good. No, no, you stay over there, Bowser. You don't like other dogs. Oh, this is good. Hold on. Well, she lived to fight another day. Anyhow, these uh, these Red Wings don't have the removable insole, so as they break in and you get the dimples and divots, and they start to look like Birkenstocks. Uh, they're starting to feel really good. Probably never feel as good as my 608 lace-ups. Uh, just because those things are so conforming and such the perfect fit. But those are for working. These beauties are for living. And, well, I hope I don't see the whole world walking around these babies. I'm loving them. I'll put up some pictures here in a bit. But, uh, man, how can you go wrong?